Welcome. Before we get started, I want to mention that our videos show the methods that work best for our projects, our car, and our budget. And we hope our suggestions are helpful as you tailor your projects to fit your individual circumstances and that you'll always work safely and follow all local laws and racing club regulations and treat all of our parts and fluids as restricted to off-street use until local approval is determined. For more information, tips, and product recommendations, visit our website, billsmgrayshop.com, and check out the Vintage Auto Racing Association website, vararacing.com. In this video, we're going to prepare the block for painting. Now, I know a lot of people do that last in the process, uh, but there's a reason for this. I found this really great old school engine paint that produces a very high gloss, hard shell, almost an epoxy type finish. Uh, but it has one particular requirement and that is they don't want you to start up the engine for at least three weeks after painting. So I'm going to paint now and then as we do the rest of the build when we're all done, it'll be long enough. Now what, what, what I want to do is plug up the holes we made in the preparation step uh, where we took out the brass plugs and are replacing them with these threaded inserts. There's two oil gallery plugs on this end, there's two on this end, and then I also want to replace the freeze, pl the freeze plugs that we took out uh, before going to the machine shop. I'm going to use a thread sealant on these fairly liberal amount and I'll install each one of them. Okay, that takes care of the oil galleries. Now we'll do the freeze plugs. Now for these I'm adding a little bit of thread sealant. I know there's several different philosophies behind these. I want to make sure that they're in there pretty good and solid. Some people use JB Weld. Uh, some people use other things, uh, research um, what's possible, and then decide for yourself what you want to use. Okay, if you've never done these, <clears throat> try to get them in as straight as you can, slightly below the, the surface there.
Okay, the plugs are in. Now we need to do one more thing before we can paint. And that is the, the paint does an excellent job covering up rust. It's specially formulated for that, but it doesn't cover shiny metal all that well. So all these little shiny things have to be primed. Okay, in this step we're going to paint the head, the block, and other little miscellaneous exposed pieces. This particular brand recommends that you don't open the can, but instead you pour some out through a hole and put a piece of tape over the hole. And since I don't have any reason to dispute that right now, that's what we're going to do. Okay, a couple extra tips about painting. If you haven't done that before, go slow, use a little bit at a time. You'll get less runs that way. Try to cover everything. If you have to break it up into separate sessions, uh, that's okay too. I use a disposable brush, so I try to have enough time that I can go completely through with one brush, then I toss it, don't have to clean it. That's my strategy. Um, one thing you want to make sure of is know where your gasket placements are. Make sure that you're not painting under where a gasket has to seal. This particular one uh, seals in this area here. So keep that clean. If you happen to paint it, just scrape it off. Same thing on around the head, around the rocker arm cover and so on is don't paint inside where oil is going to be it's probably going to wear the paint off anyway you're you'll end up with a bunch of paint flakes in the crankcase you don't want that so basic rule of thumb is paint everything on the outside especially everything that's rusty 
that's a good good sign that you're getting the areas that need to be covered and that's about it and that wraps up this video for more information tips and product recommendations visit our website billsmgrayshop.com